Welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at how ransomware affects workstations and file shares, as well as some of the key components in Kaspersky Security 10 for Windows servers and Kaspersky Endpoint Security 10 for Windows workstations, which help protect systems from ransomware. Let's take a look at what happens to an unprotected workstation in file share when they are hit with ransomware. We are going to start by inspecting some of the files on the workstation. We can see that all the documents, pictures, and videos are not encrypted and can easily be read. There's also a file share attached to the workstation hosting similar documents, and these can also be read. Now that we have inspected the files, let's go ahead and execute the ransomware. The utility on the right will track connections being made by applications and processes running on the workstation. The utility on the left will track any changes being made to directories on the workstation. Notice the queries being made over port 80 in the utility on the right. The ransomware is connecting to its servers in order to produce encryption and decryption keys for the system and to download instructions in the proper language for the workstation on how to issue payment and recover the encrypted files. You can also see the activity being made to the folders. Notice it dropping the instructions into every directory on the system and making changes to the files in those directories. Finally, when the encryption is finished, we can see the instructions pop up. Let's take a look at the files on the workstation and file share now. As you can see, they are encrypted and can no longer be read. Now let's take a look at what happens when a workstation protected by Kaspersky Endpoint Security 10 for Windows is attacked by ransomware. Here we can see the Kaspersky Endpoint Security 10 for Windows interface. Notice that all of the components have been disabled except for the System Watcher component. System Watcher is a key component in detecting advanced threats by using behavioral analysis in a closed memory space. It can also protect the system from threats that use zero-day exploits and vulnerabilities with its automated exploit prevention engine. System Watcher can also create a temporary local backup copy of a file when it detects any changes being made by suspicious applications or processes. If the suspicious application or process is deemed a threat, after terminating it, System Watcher can delete the infected or encrypted copy of the local files that were affected by the threat and bring back the original copy. This is very useful when dealing with ransomware specifically. Something to note is that this works for files local to the workstation only. We use our own proprietary, secure method of backing up and restoring the files during this process. Only System Watcher can perform this function, nothing else and no one else can tamper with it. Once again, let's review the files on the workstation. They are clean and in a decrypted state. Let's go ahead and launch the ransomware on the workstation. Make sure to pay attention to the two utilities again. The only folder changes that should appear will be Kaspersky Endpoint Security logging the threat and quarantine. We should also see no queries being made by the ransomware as System Watcher should be terminating and blocking any activity by the malicious threat on the workstation. Here notifications have been enabled to show the ransomware being detected, terminated, and quarantined. We can also see the events registered in the Endpoint Security 10 for Windows client. Let's go take a look at the files to see if they are unharmed. As you can see, all files are unscathed on the workstation and can be read. Lastly, let's see how Kaspersky Security 10 for Windows servers can protect file shares from ransomware. File shares are often prime targets for ransomware, as they can cause some serious damage and encrypt data not just for one user, 
but to many users who use that file share for sharing, saving, and backing up their files. Here we have our server running Kaspersky Security 10 for Windows servers. The key components in this solution for dealing with ransomware are anti-cryptor and the untrusted host blocking component. Anti-cryptor is based on an algorithm which uses behavioral analysis to detect and protect shared folders from encryption activity. Untrusted host blocking is used to restrict access of the attacking node to the network shares on the server when any malicious activity is detected, whether the activity is reported via the real-time file protection or anti-cryptor engines. By default, we block malicious nodes on the network from talking to the share for 30 minutes, but this can be changed in the settings of the component. This means that we can protect file shares even against unknown nodes on the network that may or may not be running sufficient protection. Here we have an unprotected workstation with the file share hosted by our server mounted. Let's take a look at the file share and the files inside to confirm that they are readable. As you can see, the files are decrypted and readable. Now let's launch the ransomware on the workstation. Once again, pay close attention to the utilities as the ransomware runs. We can see it reaching out to its servers, dropping instructions into the folders on the workstation, and encrypting files. The ransomware finishes, and it displays its instructions. As we can tell, the local files are indeed encrypted. What about the files on the file share? Access has been denied to the share. This is because the untrusted host blocking component sees this workstation as a threat and is not allowing it to communicate to the share anymore. Let's head back to the server. Upon further inspection of the events, we can see Anti-Cryptor picked up some malicious activity and blocked the actions of the ransomware coming from the workstation. We can also review the events of the untrusted host blocking component and see it blocking the file activity being generated by the infected workstation, which was deemed malicious. As you can further see, the share has no ransomware instructions in its directory and the files are safe. 